This is a lovely, simple autumnal type of dish. Um, I'm going to use some uh, red cabbage, about half a head. It's sometimes to get quite big, so you can kind of uh, alter it accordingly, but there's no harm in making a surplus. Um, but to, to get away from a dish, I don't want it to be a, a side order, I want it to be a good rounded dish. So to get some protein in there, I'm going to use a combination of the old frozen peas, which are a great thing. They're, I use them all the time. They're, and peas are particularly high in proteins as well. They're a great whole food. And um, then also I'm going to use black beans. I've used a tin of black beans, 400 gram tin. That yields about 250 grams of black beans. Um, very easy. Um, again, that's bringing that little bit of protein, which I'm just going to mix around a simple braised red cabbage. Seasonings I'm going to use, I'm going to use a bit of ground cardamom. Now, can be a tricky one to get this. If you can't get it, don't panic at all. Some ginger and some um, cumin, uh, about a teaspoon of cumin. And the mushroom I'm using is a king oyster. This will work with portobello mushrooms. Don't get too hung up if you can't get these guys. They're a lovely meaty mushroom if you can get them. Almost um, probably the meatiest of all the mushrooms. Um, lovely uh, to just grill, but even a nice big uh, flat cap portobello mushrooms, why well, that would do, don't, don't get too hung up. Uh, going to season, just kind of make kind of a sweet and soury kind of an idea here with um, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of honey through this, sweetened up then with some raisins, things like that. And again, a very simple little dish. Oh yes, I'm going to use some of my own apples actually from the tree. Again, autumn, nice to kind of use these kind of ingredients and then a little bit of apple kind of um, eliminates the need for too much sweeteners and kind of adds the sweetener into, into the red cabbage. So anyhow, I hope you enjoy this one and on with the cook. So to cook this dish, first of all, into a nice pot, nice heavy pot, add red cabbage. I'm using some low salt, which is, you could not normally use normal salt or pepper, but I really like this low salt. Also into that, generous splash, about uh, three tablespoons apple cider vinegar. Get a little mix around. Next, generous tablespoon of honey. Next up, the ginger. Generous uh, tablespoon. Cardamom, half a teaspoon and cumin, about one teaspoon. My raisins. And my apple. You can add a couple of um, tablespoons, about a quarter of a cup of water, just to get a little bit of moisture. I'm not frying this. Then lid on and allow it to simmer until it tenderizes. As this is cooking, sometimes if you find that your pan might be getting a little bit on the dry side, just add a smidge of water just to keep that steam going, just till everything starts to break down and start tenderizing it together. So as you're cooking, again, if your pan goes a little bit dry, add a little bit of water as you're going. And then when it starts to render down and all the ingredients start to infuse together, you'll suddenly find this lovely burst of flavor. You might need to add a little bit more salt. Again, I'm using low salt, which is more of a potassium salt. And at this stage, I'm gonna add my black beans. Again, it's making the difference between it being a, a side order, if you like, just a vegetable dish, and an actual meal. You need to get that little bit of protein, good quality, and again, using a vegetable-based protein in this is important. I won't put the peas in until the very end to keep their color. So to cook my oysters, what I'm gonna do is heat a griddle pan, and I've cut my oyster mushrooms lengthways. Um, again, any kind of mushrooms will do here, but the oysters are a particularly meaty mushroom. Drizzle them with oil, and then just liberally cover them over with oil, going to brush it around, and then a very, very light seasoning. So as you can see, just nicely um, oiled down. Now, some people would say, do I season afterwards or beforehand? 
Um, and it's a good question. Probably even better to season after because the, um, the salt will draw out a bit of moisture and you mightn't get such a nice grill mark. But it's not the end of the world, what way you go. Get, don't get too caught up in things. The most important thing is that you're eating well. So I'm just going to place those onto the grill pan. And when you put them down, try not to move them so you get a nice little grill mark on them. And as they're cooking, the um, my casserole or my um, red cabbage is just cooking away here on a low simmer, um, just waiting for the mushrooms then. So as my mushrooms are cooking, when you start seeing them, just have a little check on one side. And you get that nice grill mark, so I'm just going to flick those all over. Allow them to cook away on the other side as well. Then. And this stage, you can put a little bit more seasoning on those. Allow them to cook through. So, as my mushrooms are cooking, I'm just going to remove them from the heat. Let them stand in that pan. Let the residual heat kind of finish them off. They will cook through now. And then I'm going to just pop my red cabbage back on the heat. Now don't forget, I've put my black beans in there. Now my mushrooms are almost ready to cook. At this stage, I'm just going to pop in my frozen peas. And just give them a nice little mix through the mixture. So now you have plenty of protein in there and a very nutritious, again, as I, I, I commonly say, it's all about getting that color into your plate. And then this is one thing this dish has. So that would give you a little adjustment of seasoning. A little bit of pepper, if necessary, a little bit more of salt. And then I'll just allow my mushrooms just cook through till they become nice and tender. You'll be able to tell your mushrooms are cooked. Just as with any other mushroom, they kind of become quite flabby and kind of firm. Again, the king oyster is a very, very meaty mushroom. And you'll be able to get these lovely grill marks. It's almost meat-like in texture. And so I'm just going to push that aside now. And then we're ready to serve up this dish.